Hello everybody and today we'll be working on game zone from track me so we can start off with an end map scan which I've already done and here we can see two ports open we can see port 22 SSH and we can also see port 80 um, an HTTP server <coughs> so let's check out that HTTP server we can come here and we see this the first question would be what is the name of the large cartoon avatar holding a sniper on the form uh, you can just view background image you can save this and you can head over to Tinai. we used that in the last video we can take a look at this we can upload let's upload that see if we can take a look we can look at the first one but it looks like it's been taken down same with the next view we don't really see much yeah all of them don't really work we can keep going down nothing really works here but we do see this this page that's actually open and you can see the name here is agent 47 so we can just enter that in and that's correct <clears throat> so why don't we go back and take a look what else uh, obtain access via SQL injection, SQL injection. So uh, it tells us to take a look at the username, which is over here. So why don't we just try admin admin first, to see if we can get an easy win, which is probably not going to work. <laughs> it's actually, yep, doesn't work. So we can just put admin and see if we can put a quote here and type in admin again see what that gives us maybe it gives us some sort of SQL error no but what we can try is uh, admin a single quote or one equals to one semicolon two dashes space dash so this is like kind of like the SQL statement over here <clears throat> and then what we're doing is we're saying it goes to the database and checks if the username and password is correct but we have an or statement here so if that doesn't work if admin admin doesn't work it does one equals to one and one equals to one is true so that means it'll be able to log you in and if we do one equals to two then it won't work because one equals to two is not true so we need a true statement and one equal one equals to one is true so we can just type an admin over here Yep, and it works. So as we see here, it just tells us what to do. One equals to one. And now that you logged in, what's the page you're redirected to is portal.php. I can look here, so use SQL map. We can take a look here. It tells us to, I guess, identify another SQL injection point. So we have a search bar, and we can just try this out. So let's just type in test. All right, nothing shows up. Uh, let's type in test with the quote. And you can see we have a SQL error. And if we have a SQL error, then that's bad. So why don't we do the same things we did before? Test or one equals to one. Now, if this works, what it should do is give us everything. It should show us everything. And if we do that, we see that it does work. Everything is shown over here. But let's put in a false statement this time. Let's put in one equals to two, which is false. So it should give us the SQL error again. And see, we have SQL error again. So. We know that it's vulnerable over there. So what we can do now is try to use SQL map to exploit this and try to dump the database. So why don't we come to Burp Suite? Uh, I already have it open. Turn your proxy on, and I'll turn on my Burp Suite over here. And we just type in test. And over here, it should have intercepted the request. So why don't we copy this entire thing <clears throat> and put it into a file? So I'm going to make directory walkthrough. And I'll also go into that walkthrough directory. And we can just call it request.txt. We can paste this whole thing in there. Uh, there's a bunch of extra spaces here, which we don't need. Extra lines that shouldn't be in there. We can delete these extra lines. And otherwise, it wouldn't work. So there's only one space in between over here. And there we go. So if we come back over here to try hack me, I'm going to turn the proxy off. What it tells us to do is run this command sql map dash r request.txt 
and then dash uh, dbms database management system is my sql and then we dump that so we can just type in that command my sql oops i think it's dash dash and then it's dash dash dump so dump will dump the entire database so uh we can just press enter here and come on we'll let sql map run over there but we should be able to get a hashed password out of it we should get a username as well so we'll let sql map run all right so now it sees that the parameter search item is vulnerable uh do you want to keep testing the others we'll just say no and okay there we go do you want to store hashes to a temporary file no it's fine no okay so we do get a hash and we also get a username so why don't we come back over here and ask us what's the hash it's that over here what is the username agent 47 what's the name of the other table it's over here uh post table post and that's the results that we had from the search bar over here all right looks like john the ripper isn't really cracking the hash for me i'm not sure why um i'm not sure why it doesn't work this is no password hashes is cracked but when i try to crack that it doesn't really do it for me yeah so i don't know what that is but what we can do is just come over to crack station and try to have that crack it for us so if we just do crack hashes we can see that the password is video gamer 124 so with that we can just enter that in and we can try sshing into the machine because as we remember from the nmap scan we do have ssh so we can do agent 47 at the ip address and we can just do that yes video gamer one two four and we do have a shell here so that's our user text you can take a look at that and we have it so now it is telling us that we need to do some ssh tunneling so how many tcp sockets are running here it tells us to run this command so we can do that and as you can see we have one two three four five so we have one on 22 which is ssh i'm guessing same with this 80 for the http server but we also have this 10,000. now that didn't show up on our nmap scan so it might just be for the local host so it tells us that we need to run some ssh tunneling so that's kind of like similar to what we did in that cybersig labs office box if you guys remember that video you guys can check that out but pretty much what we had to do is uh we needed to create an ssh tunnel and we had tried to access that port 10,000, and we exploit that so we can try to do the same thing now so what we need to do first is try to generate an ssh key so let's see if there already is one there is it so we can just do ssh key gen you just press enter here no passphrase and ls dash la cd ssh and there we go so we can just cat this idrsa and we can copy this and paste it in here idrsa oops idrsa paste it in and we can just sh mod 600 idrsa so it's read only because it likes like that so now that we have that we can again run this command so ssh dash l dash i i d r s a uh and we can just put agent 47 10 10 47 50 and then what we need to do is we need to put the dash l 10 000, and we need to put our local host 10 000, just like that video gamer one two four Okay, so now if we come back over here to our local host 10,000 we should get women yeah so it's kind of, it's pretty much the same thing as what we did in the cybersec labs office it was women as well 
So now, what's the exposed CMS? What's the CMS version? We don't see that, but we can log in. So we we already have credentials for Agent 47. So we can try to log in with that again. So Agent 47 Video Gamer 124. And as you can see, we have version 1.580. So we can just search up Webmin Exploits. And we can see one from Rapid7. And it already says Metasploit over here. So I'm assuming it's going to be Metasploit. And yep. So this is the exploit that we can use. So why don't we start up Metasploit? MSF console. And we can try to run that exploit on it. We can use multi, nope, not use multi handler. We can just paste this in. Show options. Looks like we need to set a password, which is video gamer124. Set the username, which is agent47. We need to set SSL to false because um, this is an HTTPS. Set the R host to the IP address, which I'll get over here. And now we can show options one more time. This should work. So why don't we just run? Looks like an error. I'm not really sure what that is, but let's try to show payloads because this happened earlier as well. Show payloads. We can just use this one. Use five. And if we do show options. Oh, we've got the set a payload. Set payload five. Now let's show options. Set our L host to ton zero. And why don't we run this again? Authentication failed, yeah. And that didn't work either. So if we do show options, oh, sorry, you're supposed to set your R host to your local host. That's what I did wrong. So why don't we run that? And we'll let that exploit run. And hopefully we get a shell's root. So it's attempting to log in. Um, Come on, this could take a while. Authentication failed. Um, yep, and now it worked. And now we have a session, session one. And if we do who am I, we're root. So, ls, where are we right now? So why don't we go into cd slash root, enter root flag, so you can just cut that. And you filled out your last question. So, yeah, that's Game Zone from Try Hack Me. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time.